Hi, this is your host Abhin Bharatiya and welcome to TFR Insights. And today we have with us once again, Utpal Bhatt, CMO of Tigera. Very excited to be back on, on, on the show again, Swapnil. Now let's talk about the state of cloud native security report. Uh, first of all, tell us a bit about this report. What is the you know goal of you know doing this report, and how frequently do you folks do it? Yeah, so this is our uh, you know our first edition of the report. Um, the goal of the and this will be an annual report. We intend to publish this uh, every year around the same time, and the the objective of this report is to help uh, the market basically get feedback from the market. Uh, especially for from the adopters of uh, cloud security or, or, or cloud native applications, you know what are some of the the challenges that they're facing? And then we split the report um, the questions into three areas. One is everything about um, cloud native applications. You know what is the reason for adopting cloud native architectures? What are some of the stated objectives that they hope to accomplish from these architectures and what's keeping them, uh, you know, what's uh, inhibiting them from uh, achieving those objectives? So that was number one. The second one was specifically zoning on security. You know, what are some of the um, security and uh, uh, security challenges that they are facing with the cloud native applications? And then the third part was about compliance. You know, what are some compliance uh, challenges that they, their organizations are facing? So the survey was sent out to uh, over 300 respondents, and uh, we are super excited with the insights we were able to glean from that survey report. What were the either more, you know, kind of, you're expecting that, hey, this is what is already the trend that you see in the space, but then there was certain things that you were not expecting, and that's what the survey revealed. What was those, those things? Yeah, you know, I think the, there were quite a few surprises uh, from the survey. We knew, I think, you know, because we've been in this business for some time, we've been talking to a lot of customers and prospects. We knew that, you know, it's a, it's not a slam dunk. In other words, uh, you know, adopting a security cloud, uh, cloud native application architecture does present uh, a lot of uh, uh, both the volume and the newness of the challenges. You know, it's the, because it's a brand new architecture, some of these challenges, they don't, apply to traditional uh, monolithic architectures. And so we knew that there was always going to be you know, security and compliance challenges. So what um, was very surprising is the scale uh, of these challenges. Um, and as you can see, you know, when it comes to the report, uh, a significant number of people, and it was almost, uh, you know, 70, so in, in terms of uh, people who are running into this, right? There are about, uh, you know, 87% of companies, for example, stated that uh, they have uh, challenges with uh, compliance requirements, right? We had companies, uh, the other other uh, surprise was the uh, companies that stated uh, the source of these challenges, right? So observability, 97% of the companies stated that, you know, it's observability, the fact that they're not even, even able to see how these components are interacting and, and rightly so because a lot of these components live for a few minutes and then they disappear and, and they are all over uh, in terms of clusters so that not having that sort of visibility uh, translates into like not being able to secure uh, the application and uh, you know almost uh, uh, the the number of number of organizations that also stated that uh, you know, 96% of the organization said that security compliance and visibility is the most uh, challenging aspect of cloud native application. So for us, uh, what was surprise was not the challenge itself, but the scale of the challenge. And I think that was the biggest surprise. Now, when you do look at these surprises, you know, there are a couple of things. One is that, okay, these things are you know happening, but do you also see that um, there's enough awareness plus people are moving in the right direction as well or do you see like just like early days uh you know the, there will be still a time people will, it will take time for people to not only get aware of that and then try to fix it what are you seeing you know the silver lining on one hand if you look at uh, where the organizations are spending their efforts, whether it comes to uh, new applications or modernization of existing applications. 
um, you know, 75% of the applications said that uh, our company said that they are uh, adopting uh, cloud native uh, applications and cloud native application architectures. So in the last, at least up until, you know, over the last 12 months, majority of the effort is going into that uh, cloud native uh, architecture approach. And, and rightly so, because, you know, with the pandemic, we have seen a lot of organizations moving to the cloud and uh, the progression to the cloud you know, typically starts with just a simple lift and shift. And then they all of a sudden, when they're in the cloud, they realize that they're not actually getting the benefits from the cloud because they are not leveraging uh, cloud native architecture. And so the next phase is to actually redesign and start uh, leveraging cloud native architectures so that uh, you know they can take advantage of the scale and elasticity and the agility that that the cloud offers right so so that i think is on track what we're seeing now um, secondly i think what we're seeing is that there is certainly a lot of awareness in terms of uh, you know what types of uh, security uh, controls they need to establish and at which stages. Uh, so there's clearly awareness that uh, you know, the build time stage, you need to have scanning. And you know, if you have that, uh, that's going to help uh, in uh, a better runtime uh, posture. Um, so there is certainly that sort of awareness. Um, there are a few areas that um, I feel like that there is more awareness and then there are a few gray areas, right? So everybody knows, I think, the, the easy stuff I think that's uh, there's more awareness. So that and I talked about scanning. You know, it's almost like your uh, your um, you know wires protection or malware protection. You just have to scan your images, and so I think everybody knows that that's that's uh, that's acquired. Um, where we see organizations still uh, kind of uh, scrambling or or uh, being a little bit more vulnerable is in uh, uh, in the area of uh, what you know how do you because the whole concept of the network disappears with cloud native applications that how do you apply those same kind of principles where the perimeter was a great line of defense for a lot of uh, non cloud native applications and in the cloud native world where there is no concept of a perimeter you know how do you apply uh, things like access controls you know zero so like zero, the principles of zero trust or how do you apply intrusion detection and intrusion prevention techniques uh, and uh, you know that's where we see a lot of organizations struggling and uh, that being said i think now there is increasing amount of realization that uh, the only way to solve it really is to apply those same types of controls at individual workload levels now, you'll never be able to create a perimeter uh, due to the nature of the application components and so the only a real way to do it is to apply those controls at the workload level. And I think that that is uh, something that uh, you can see from the report that organizations are definitely accepting that as the uh, best way to, to uh, secure cloud native applications. Is there also some kind of misconception because as more and more people move to the cloud, they do feel that cloud will solve all of their problem. But the reality is that, you know, it does, as you say, it offers elasticity, it does offer a scale, but it doesn't solve a lot of other problems, whether it's securing your workload application, you know, or, or, or other things. So what did you notice there? Because that's where, you know, uh, players like Tiger come to help folks. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a great question. You know, I think there's definitely a realization that, uh, you know, while the cloud brings a lot of benefits. It also brings, introduces a lot of complexity. And you cannot uh, rely on the cloud platform vendors themselves, uh, especially to secure uh, your workloads and you know to give you the, the level of uh, uh, observability that you need to ensure that uh, you know, you're not exposed and so on. So I think there's certainly uh, a realization that uh, you know cloud just introduces a, a new set of challenges and uh, i think most importantly i think organizations are realizing that uh, the scale of challenges um, that the cloud introduces uh, um, is much bigger than what they could control 
on their in their own private environment because once again they you know the private environments had the benefit of a perimeter and so even though you had let's say you know log 4j example you know you had uh, vulnerabilities in your in your in your code that uh, came because of your usage of log 4j the perimeter for the most part would would block any sort of incoming attack and so you had uh, you know, you had almost like that shield that protected you. With cloud, and especially cloud native architectures, uh, uh, because the perimeter has collapsed, you know, individual services are communicating outside the network. You know, individual services are dependent on a slew of other services. So there's a lot of internal in intra-cluster traffic, which means it's much easier, number one, for someone to enter your cluster, so uh, for an attacker, and number two, once the attacker is there, it's very easy for them to move laterally, because uh, the communication is always happening intra-cluster over the network, and so that's why I think that is uh, the biggest, uh, biggest issue that uh, you know cloud and cloud native architecture introduces. And I think the frankly the the challenge really with this is that. Uh, you know, organizations have to fundamentally rethink how they are they're going to secure it, because uh, just uh, if your approach is, hey, I'm just going to identify as many issues as as I can using the best tools and the most uh, updated uh, uh, you know databases of uh, of threats, um, you're not really solving the problem. What you're going to find is you're actually identifying a lot of issues. But if you look at your teams, your teams are not going to grow that fast, and you'll never be able to uh, remediate those issues that you're finding, right? So you'll have to recreate that environment that was helping you in your uh, on-prem world, which is reducing the threat surface, right? How do I how do I reduce my attack surface? How do I reduce the ways I can be attacked? And so adopting that is the first thing that organizations will have to do and, and do that in the cloud native world, which is where you know, I think the bringing the principles of zero trust to your workloads is going to be critical. And so that is a, a shift in architecture and, this, and that same shift will also help them respond better in case they find themselves themselves exposed because they can immediately shut down communication from a particular service or a workload. They can quarantine that workload. And only when they'll have that level of control over how their applications can communicate either outside or within the cluster is when they'll be able to recreate that same level of security that they've been used to for their on-prem world. Utpal, thank you once again for taking your time out and of course talk about, you know, the CNI availability and also findings of this report. And I would love to have you back on the show as usual. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show, Swapna. Always a pleasure to talk to you.